Coming straight from the TMZ newsroom in Dallas, Texas, where he's getting prepared to fight Darren Till at UFC 228. It's the Hollywood beatdown with this man right here, the reigning UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tyron Willie. Tyron, how you doing, man? And fresh off the face-off, fresh to the FaceTime of you in the TMZ newsroom, and me sitting here with the phone propped up on what looks to be 12 bottles of drinks that I cannot drink at all. Yeah, I know. If you're in the weight, you're in weight cutting mode right now. And people always say weight cutting is hell. How do you feel right now? I'm a little agitated. <laughs> um, it makes me want to punch my opponent more. I've had days where I felt better. Yeah. Um, I've had definitely weight cuts where I felt a lot worse. I got a couple more pounds left, um, so I'm in good position right now. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, let's get started with Fired Up. When you are in the zone, you are hours away from your fight. Have you been paying attention to pop culture, to Hollywood, any of that stuff at all? The the, the Nike campaign, I, I had to focus on that. Kaepernick and, and Nike, I thought it was phenomenal that they took a risk. They tried, they really showed balls when they did that, that campaign. It's a very controversial issue. Um, that's something I'm extremely fired up about. So how do you feel about people that are calling for a Nike boycott and burning their shoes and cutting the swoosh logo out of their socks? I mean, what do you feel about that? I agree with the people who made the memes that said donate the, those to the veterans that are homeless that you claim and support that you really don't. Donate those. And I think anybody who does support um, Kaepernick and anybody who supports the movement, I think we should go out and buy one or two or three more pair of Nikes. So if people want to protest against, I think that people that that stands for somebody who stands for something, the way that Muhammad Ali did. He sacrificed four years of his career, his prime, to stand up for what he believed in. So I think we should lobby and get behind him. Not only purchase Nike, we should purchase his specific shoe. So you feel, And we should go and donate it. So you feel like uh, there's a, comp a real comparison between Colin Kaepernick and Muhammad Ali? When Muhammad Ali died, I think he took the torch. I think he said, you know, it's time to quit being quiet. You know, I can selfishly say, well, it ain't my problem. I'm rich. I don't have to worry about it. But he took a stance. And, you know, if you look at Kaepernick, he's even more so um, fighting, a, fighting a good fight. The, the issue and the topic is still there. Let's focus on finding a problem solver for the unanswered shootings and killings of young African-American male and women by police officers. So there was an incident involving police and a black man in Ferguson. Uh, there was civil unrest, people were protesting. Being from Ferguson, what is, how does the city feel about Colin Kaepernick? You know, I, I think they're gonna support the issue. And, and it wasn't just a black man, it was, it was Mike Brown. And it was a young kid that was on his way to college, but he was unarmed. And Darren Wilson was a police officer, but he had a GoFundMe account that raised nearly a million bucks for his legal fees and everything else in support. And it also, gave a platform to the KKK and it built more division. So that's the, that's the problem I have with Ferguson being shown as a city that's all about crime, all about rioting, all about looters, all about opportunists. That's not what Ferguson about. Ferguson is about people like me who came from humble beginnings, that found a way to be successful, that got a college education, that went on to be an All-American, that went on to be a world champion. So when you fight on Saturday, do you think about Ferguson? Do you think about Colin Kaepernick? Do you think about the people who look to you as an inspiration? Does that affect you when you step into the octagon? Of course I do. I look at the narrative that's always being painted. I look at the machine that's always put behind, um, you know, different people outside of me. Of course I look at that. I look at all these things. All right, now it's time for Tyron's favorite segment, the one he named himself. It's called... Punch? No, on the real though. I'm, <laughs> yeah, punch it's unreal. Already. I'm thinking about Saturday. I'm punch, punch, and punch. Yeah, it's punch, punch, punch. On the real though. Take us into the mindset of a championship fighter as he gets ready to get into that octagon to make. Is this your fifth title defense? This is my fifth title fight, my fourth title defense. And on the real though, I wouldn't be speaking to nobody. If it wasn't my family, if it wasn't you guys, when no way in hell I'd be doing this. But, um, you know, this is a part of the, the mental warfare, getting it done, getting it on, and um, that's it. When they give you the green light to eat again? What's the first thing you're gonna eat? First thing I'm gonna eat is um, some fruit. Um, drink some water first. <laughs> no shit, you're uh, gonna coke. eat food. What kind of food? No, no, I no, know. no, 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 no. Some fruit, some fruit. Oh, fruit. My body, your stomach is really, fruit. your stomach is really sensitive. You can't right. just pound a lot of like super syrupy sports drinks. So what I do right. is I do water first. Uh -huh. Then I do coconut water. Then I do water. Oh, the then I do like a lighter. Yeah. Then I do a lighter form. Maybe it's like. Um, 
a light body armor or something like that. Then I do water. Then I do regular body armor. Then I do water. So I go back and forth and let my body open up. And then I'll just start flooding it with fucking hydration. When you're in the locker room getting ready to go out, right, those last 15 minutes before you get in the Octagon, what music are you listening to in your headset? Man, I got this song called Your Ladder by uh, Megan Williams. It's a song I've been listening to every single fight since um, 2005. This is my first fight. It's just um, a, a song that starts off slow. It reaches a climax and gives me a chance to reflect on my family, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it for, you know, all the road. It's not a, it's not a sprint. You know, it's a long race. Everything it took me to get there it gives me a real, real moment to reflect on what I'm really fighting for. You know, beyond the fame, beyond the money, beyond the gold, the glitter, you know, all the accolades, you know, my family, legacy, honor, respect, the people that believe in me. Um, it gives me a moment to really reflect on that. And that's what I'm listening to. You know, I'm going to be victorious. That's what I'm thinking about. Every single time. Every single time. All right, it's time for that part of the show where Tyron punches someone in the face and pats somebody else on the back. But I feel like for today's show, it's just going to be violence because you're kind of in that mindset. So who gets the punch in the let's face today? Let's do a today? punch. Let's do today. Let's do a punch, punch, and punch. Let's punch everybody that's burning their Nike gear, cutting the swooshes off. Let's definitely punch. Obviously, let's punch Darren Till in the face. Right, right. Let's punch his stare down in the face. Okay. Because he was trying to overcompensate for the fact he's priced to 185. Right. So let's punch that in the face. Okay. And then you can pick the you can pick the last punch. Somebody I get to pick the last punch in the face. You get to pick the last. One. I'm sharing. I'm gonna punch the Pittsburgh Steelers in the face because they're not paying my boy Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell comes on the show. He's a nice guy. He's one of the best running backs in the NFL. Pay the man his money. He deserves a long-term contract. He puts his ass in the line out there for you every single week. He's one of the best to do it. Pay him what he deserves. Punch the Pittsburgh Steelers in the face. Siren. Uh, you guys are watching this. I'm jumping. I'm skipping. I'm jumping in. I'm skipping. You guys are watching this on YouTube. Make sure you go down and you subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook, slide over to YouTube. Yep. Subscribe TMZ Sport. More Hollywood be down with your boy Tyron Woodley and Evan. That's right. And then you can watch all the other bomb ass shows on TMZ. Boom. That's right. Uh, one last thing before you go, honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, everybody in the newsroom, man, we're rooting for you. We're thinking about you. Good luck. Can't wait to cheer you on. UFC 228 this Saturday by the fight. And still. <laughs>